Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 8 of my Meng 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brill. Thank you. Got a quick announcement. Real life matters have kicked in here at the House of the Hobbits and we are dealing with those. So videos will be released as and when I have the opportunity to do them. Hopefully normal service will be resumed as soon as possible. Anywho, on to this episode. To begin with, we're going to do some decals. We're going to be doing the smaller instruments. So without further ado, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we go, that's those decals in place. We'll pop those to one side, let them dry off. Now, to get the office walls glued together. And then we'll have a complete office ready. So, here we go. So, there's the office glued together. I'm liking that, looking good. Yes, I know I'm teasing you with the lap straps. Anywho, now to sort out the control cables from the office. So let's get them cracked. There you are, that's all the control cables sorted for the office now. Next, for a bit more rigging over the fuel tank. Here we go. That last little bit was one of the cables had popped off so it needed reattaching. Anyway. <laughs> Upstraps! <laughs> Let's get them fitted, shall we? Thank you. 
There we go, that's the lap straps fitted. Now, let's give them a bit of weathering, shall we? Yeah, why not, we've weathered everything else. There we go, belts washed. I'm pretty happy with how these have turned out. What do you folks think? Leave me a comment below. What next? Well, why don't we paint the rigging lines we just put on? Oh, look, they're already running. Here we go. There we go, that was quick and simple, wasn't it? Now to give the gauges a quick gloss coat to emulate the glass. And there's another quick and simple job. Now for the rigging lines that come out the rear sides of the fuselage. Let's get those cracked. That's the rudder and elevator rigging lines done. Now to put the office into half of the fuselage. It's nearly time to close up. Oh, I'm getting all excited. Yeah, I could crush a grip. That's the office in. Now I'm going to tape the control lines up with masking tape. This is something I should have done with the dolphin from Wing Not Wings I did early this year because they kept getting in the way. Putting the masking tape on them and taping up stops them doing that and stops them landing in the paint. So here we go. Control cables all taped up out of the way. Now to get this tail plane cleaned up. Should we get it done? Yeah, of course. Here we go. And there we go. That's the tailplane all cleaned up and ready for priming. Now, let's have a look at that lower wing half that we did. Get that cleaned up as well.
there we go that's all cleaned up next some test fitting gluing and clamping of the other half of the lower wing There we go, that's the lower wing half glued and clamped. We'll pop it over there to dry properly for a day or two. Now for some pesky little parts. These are the bits that go in the leading edge of the wings. You may remember you saw me mark the wings ready for drilling. So here we go with cutting, fitting and gluing those. Okay, they went in easily, didn't they? No worries there then. Yeah, right, lulling me into a false sense of security, you little bastards. Anyway, that comes later. Now, to do the underside engine cover. This can be done either open or closed. I decided to do it closed. So, here we go. There we go, that's the door done and ready for priming. Next we have the leather bump that protects the pilot's head from the machine guns. So let's get that cracked shall we? There we go, that's now ready for priming. I didn't name it because I don't got a clue what the bloody thing is. Quick and simple job there. Anyway, now for the undercar. A bit of foreshadowing here. I made a bit of a pig's ear of this later on bloody thing remember rtfm read the manual There we go, all cleaned up, glued and clamped. And so we'll pop it to one side to dry. Remember what I told you earlier? Keep that in mind for the next one. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode eight. If you want to see what happens in episode nine, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. 
Remember folks, stay safe, keep on muddling. <laughs>